My name is Jersey Joel. I've lived in New Jersey my entire life. I love fishing and the outdoors. I love catching big fish, small fish, and multi-species. New Jersey offers a great variety of fishing for all types of anglers. With the many lakes, ponds, rivers, streams, creeks, reservoirs, and the Atlantic Ocean not far away, the sky is the limit when it comes to New Jersey fishing. If you love fishing and the outdoors and nature as much as I do, then subscribe to my channel and come along with me on my fishing adventures. I hope you enjoy the ride. guys Jersey Joel fishing here Hope everyone has a great day today the date is February 17th 2024 we had a big snowstorm about a week and a half ago the snow is still hanging around it's been very cold so I'm gonna bounce around and do some river fishing the water levels should be down a little bit and I might even hit a new spot a mountain creek that I found on Google Maps and see if we can catch some trout when the weather's this cold the water's cold sometimes the only species that'll bite is a trout. They're a cold water fish, cold water species. We did get a thin layer of ice again on the lakes and ponds, especially the small ones with the cold weather the last couple of weeks. But the ice is not thick enough to ice fish. It's just a thin layer. I'm going to wait until the water temperatures go up next week and then I'll be fishing the lakes and ponds again and see if we can get some fish. February is a very, very tough month for fishing. The weather is up and down, it gets very cold and snow, and then it warms up for a couple of days, and then it gets back to cold weather again. So it makes the fishing very, very tough. The fish don't really bite, they're all confused. The weather just doesn't stay consistent. I have been out a couple of times the last couple of weeks, but it's been really tough fishing, like I said. So I'm gonna head over to a river and a new creek right now and see if the fish are biting, and we'll see what happens. Let me get my gear and get in the car, and I'll talk to you guys when I get there. All right, I have arrived at the Mountain Creek. Never been here before. With a lot of current, some nice little pools. I wanna see if there's any trout in here. Looks really good. This snow is gonna be hanging around for a while. It's been cold all week. There's a couple really nice pools here. I tied on a wet fly nymph. The trout get picky this time of year. A lot of them bite on nymphs. Some of the insects and bugs will be hatching early when we have some warm days mixed in around this cold weather. So I'm gonna try some nymphs. Might be challenging, but I'm gonna cover some water and see if we can get some trout at this new mountain creek or mountain brook this morning. Looks really good. A lot of oxygen, fast current, perfect habitat for trout. I casted a little wet fly nymph right above this pool here. I have a little yellow float on there. So I can see the strike. Let me walk down some more, cover some more water.
Looks really good. It's got to be a hungry fish in here that wants the nymph. One week later. All right, I've arrived at the spot. I'm gonna fish the pond over here and the Trout River behind me. I'll fish two different spots, see if we can get some fish. We had a lot of snow the last month. It's been very cold. We had some rain and then we had some warm weather the last couple days. February is a very, very tough month for fishing because the weather is so crazy. You get snow, you get ice, then you get rain, then it melts, then it gets cold again. Very, very tough. The fish don't know what to do. We're gonna throw a crankbait. I also have night crawlers, and we'll see if we can get some fish here this morning. Let me take a few casts with this shad pattern crankbait first, and then I'll throw a night crawler out there. The snow finally melted. It was hanging around for a couple of weeks. It was so cold. Finally just melted yesterday. All right, let me throw the crankbait first and we'll see what happens. Here we go, first cast. All right, I gave it an hour at the pond, tried two different baits, nothing. Let's try the Trout River. All right, let me throw the night crawler in this pool here, let it drift downstream, and we'll see what happens. All right, here we go. No bites on the night crawler. Let me try the crankbait. Five minutes later. Got one. Oh my goodness, that was a huge one. That was a monster, guys. Holy cow, that was a big fat trout, rainbow. Got off right here on the rocks, about six, seven feet from the bank. I thought I got snagged on the rock. It gets shallower here. He came up to the surface, I saw his body. That was a big fat rainbow trout. That was a holdover stocky. Probably from the fall. I just casted the crankbait directly in this current here by the rocks. I just reeled it in very slow to medium and that trout hit it. Please bite again. What's up guys? This is a few days later. I'm at a lake I haven't been to in a couple of months. This is the biggest lake in the state. We've had a couple warm days lately, up near 60 degrees. So I wanna take advantage of this warm front and see if the fish are biting here at this lake. There's a lot of species, some big fish. I'm gonna throw a couple different baits. I got night crawlers, I got my MEP spinners, got crank baits, jerk baits, everything. And we'll see what happens. Overcast right now, it's gonna rain off and on today, but it's gonna be warm. So, should be a good time for the fish to bite, hopefully. Let me throw a little brown trout jerk bait first. This is a new lure I got last week. It was on sale, figured I'd give it a shot. We'll see what happens. Here we go, first cast.
Let me try a MEPS number two, red and white. One of my favorites. Everything hits the MEPS. They didn't want the jerk bait. Let's see if I get one on the MEPS. All right, here we go. Just gonna reel it in medium. MEPS covers a lot of water. Nothing on the MEPS, I gave it a good half hour. All right, let me try Nightcrawlers. Third bait in the last hour. Hopefully third time is a charm, like they say. If I don't get nothing on Nightcrawlers, then these fish just don't wanna bite anything. It happens, February is a very, very tough month. The fish don't really bite. When the ice melts, they're in a weird state. A lot of fishless days in February. All right, here we go. Something should bite this, you would think. One minute, 37 seconds later. Got one. <clears throat> hey, it's a little yellow perch. Hey, it's something. First fish, I've been here an hour. Third different bait of the morning. Just a little yellow perch. Hey, I will take it. The bite's been very tough this month. I will definitely take it. All right, little perch. I'll see you later. There he goes. See you, little buddy. All right, first fish. Been here about an hour. Starting to rain now, as you can see. That was fish number one. Let's keep fishing and see if we can get fish number two. Glad I caught something. A few moments later. Got him. Oh, this one's a lot bigger. Another perch. Yep. Much bigger. Hey, they're going up in size. Nice. This one's a lot bigger. All right, buddy. I'll see you later. He's frisky. He's ready to go. There he goes. All right, two yellow perch in the last five minutes. At least I'm getting some action now on the night crawlers. Let's keep fishing. See if we can get fish number three. Maybe I'll put the MEPS back on in a few minutes and see if I can get a different species. Seconds late camp. Got another one. Next cast. What is this? Surprise, surprise. Another yellow perch. They're a schooling fish. There's probably a whole bunch of them over here. That's three in the last seven minutes. All right, yellow perch number three. I'll see you later. Another one. What is this? Probably another yellow perch. Yep. That's five. I just caught back to back. Frisky. It's got real nice colors on them though with those stripes. All right, I'll see you later, buddy. All right, I think I'm gonna Put the MEP spinner back on. See if I can get a bigger fish and a different species. These perch are hungry. There's a whole school of them right in front of me. They're biting the night crawlers every cast. I already caught five. Let's see if we can catch something else.
All right, let me try the Z-Man Ned Rig. California Craw. All right, let's see if they want the Ned Rig. Just gonna fish it very slow on the bottom. Reel it in very slow, give it some twitches. That's all there is to it. I wanna catch another species here before I call it a morning. A few minutes later. Got one. Oh, I had him, he got off. Darn it. I think that was a bass. 10 feet in front of me, I was reeling it in to recast it, he bit it. Let's see if he bites again. I think that was a bass. I saw him for a split second. Definitely wasn't a perch. Come on, let me land another species. Ooh, that was a bite. Had another bite, he thumped it, but he let go of it. Three bites on the Ned Rig, that was it. Now they stopped biting. Let me throw the night crawler a couple more casts by the tree and the rocks over there. See if I can catch something different. Maybe whatever fish hit my Ned Rig will bite the night crawler. We'll see. The wind is really picking up. It's gonna start raining again soon too. Gonna fish for like another half hour and then I'm gonna call it. Just wanna catch one more species, something other than a yellow perch. I don't care what it is. Oh, I just caught three more yellow perch. I didn't want to show the footage. I caught them just to the left of the tree here. I was hoping to catch something else, but that's eight yellow perch here. I've been here a couple hours and I had about three or four bites of the Ned Rig. They just didn't stay hooked for some reason. The Ned Rig has a single hook, so sometimes you do lose fish, but it was a good morning here. I'm glad I caught some fish. These yellow perch were very aggressive. Let me get my gear packed up and I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Well guys, that's gonna be a wrap for this video. It was a challenging last couple of weeks of fishing. February is a very tough month. We had some more ice, but thin ice. You couldn't ice fish. Then we had another snowstorm, a pretty big one. So we had a lot of snow. The snow just melted about three, four days ago. And then it got warm the last couple of days before it gets cold again. So with this crazy weather up and down, February is a very tough month. A lot of times the fish just don't bite. You go out a few times, and you don't even catch one fish or have one bite, it happens. You know, it was a struggle the last couple of weeks. I finally got some action over here at this lake behind me, a lake I haven't been to in a couple of months, the biggest lake in the state. I did catch eight yellow perch and lost a couple more fish on the Ned Rig. One was definitely a bass, I saw him for a second. I wish I could have caught some more fish, some different species and some bigger fish. But like I said, February is very tough, it happens. I'm glad to be catching anything, it's still winter, but the temperatures are really gonna warm up the next month as we approach spring in probably about three and a half weeks. It was a tough couple of weeks of fishing. I'm glad I caught some fish. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you in the next one. Have a good one, guys.